number of you have asked me for my opinion regarding Mark Davis Las Vegas proposal. The problem with the Vegas proposal is that it rests on the idea that there will be enough outside visitor that come to play football to produce the revenue that would produce the tax revenue that would pay for the bond issues that would be let for the stadium complex. That is iffy at best. And to ask for almost $800 million in taxing revenues for a stadium, if you're not going to get that over a 40 or even a 50 year bonding period, even then it's too very risky to do. It's just a risky proposition because Las Vegas has a huge problem given the size of the stadium in that you're talking about a metropolitan area that is at best 1.1 million, 600,000 residents in Las Vegas itself, highly transient and never proven with respect to season ticket sales. It's one thing to conduct an interview and ask people, hey, what do you think? Do you want the Raiders here? Look, six times out of 10 in any city, the answer is gonna be yes. But when you start attaching dollars to those ticket and season ticket and luxury box offerings, and then throw out a survey, your reaction is gonna be completely different. It really is, and that hasn't been done yet. So that's why I say the Vegas idea is an uphill battle to, for Mark Davis to say, I'm gonna get this done in three years. When you have Oakland sitting, season tickets sell out record level for the first time in franchise history, a waiting list, which points to the demand for a new stadium being right there in Oakland, proven market, then why trots off to Las Vegas? Davis is meeting with Oakland officials next week because he knows Oakland is his better option in his heart of hearts. He knows that.